On May 7, 2025, India launched a surprise attack on Pakistan, sparking a fiery four-day clash in the contested Kashmir region. This wasn't just a battle between two nuclear-armed rivals. It marked the first real-world test of China's advanced PL-15 air-to-air missile, wielded by Pakistan's Air Force. There are heated debates about this missile's success. But something strange about its performance sent shockwaves through South China Sea nations, raising alarms and pushing the US and NATO to rethink their military tech upgrades. Did the PL-15 redefine air combat? Could it shift global power dynamics? And what's got everyone so worried? Welcome to Infographic Vision, where we unravel the world's biggest stories with clarity and impact. This is China's PL-15's first real combat test. India shocked the world with missile strikes on Pakistan, and Pakistan retaliated swiftly. Over 120 fighter jets clash in the skies, marking one of the fiercest air battles between nuclear powers in modern history. Dubbed Operation Sindor by some, this wasn't just about territory. It was a high-stakes test of military might, with a new weapon stealing the spotlight. Enter the PL-15, or Thunderbolt 15, China's cutting-edge air-to-air missile. Pakistan used its export version, the PL-15E, on their J-10C and JF-17 jets during the conflict. This missile is a beast. The domestic version can strike targets up to 300 kilometers away, while the PL-15E reaches about 145 kilometers, a serious range for beyond visual range combat. Hitting speeds up to Mach 5, it's powered by a dual-pulse solid-fuel rocket motor and guided by an advanced active electronically scanned array radar seeker. Designed to rival Western missiles like the American AIM-120, the PL-15 is China's bid to dominate the skies. But when it faced real combat, did it soar or stumble? Pakistan came out swinging. Their Chinese-made J-10C and JF-17 jets armed with PL-15E missiles took on Indian aircraft with confidence. Pakistan claimed a major win, asserting the PL-15E downed five Indian jets, including three French-made Rafale fighters. The missile's long range let pilots strike from afar, potentially outmaneuvering India's defenses. Chinese media went wild, praising the J-10C and PL-15E as proof of China's tech prowess. Social media buzzed with excitement, with posts hyping Pakistan's aerial dominance. Reports confirmed at least two Indian jets were downed by J-10Cs with PL-15Es, a big moment for China's arms industry. But is this the whole story, or is there a catch? India tells a different tale. On May 9, 2025, Indian forces made a stunning find near Kamahi Devi in Hoshiarpur, Punjab. A PL-15E missile recovered largely intact. This wasn't just wreckage, it was a potential intelligence gold mine. The missile's self-destruct mechanism had failed, leaving key components like the guidance system and rear section exposed. Indian officials called it proof of the PL-15E's unreliability, claiming it malfunctioned in combat. They also said their air defenses neutralized several Pakistani missiles. India's Rafale jets, armed with the longer-range European Meteor missile, reportedly outperformed Pakistan's J-10Cs. Only one Rafale was confirmed lost, casting doubt on Pakistan's claim of downing five. Social media erupted, with some speculating the debris could unlock China's military secrets, raising concerns across the South China Sea. What really went down? The fog of war clouds the truth. Pakistan's claim of downing five Indian jets seems exaggerated, with only one Rafale loss confirmed. But the PL-15E's long-range capability likely scored hits, giving Pakistan an edge in some skirmishes. The recovered missile, though, points to problems. Its failure to detonate suggests issues with the warhead or self-destruct system. Military experts worldwide are dissecting this clash to understand what worked and what didn't. This wasn't just a missile test. It was a rare window into modern air combat between nuclear powers. Online, opinions split. Some hail the PL-15 as a breakthrough, others see it as overhyped. The weird mix of success and failure has South China Sea nations on edge and has the US and NATO eyeing their tech upgrades. Let's zoom in on the PL-15's tech to understand its potential and pitfalls. Its active radar seeker locks onto targets with precision, even in contested skies, and a mid-flight data link allows real-time updates for accuracy. The 40-kilogram high-explosive warhead is designed to obliterate enemy aircraft triggered by a laser or radar proximity fuse. 
The missile's dual pulse motor gives it a speed boost, reaching Mach 5. And its range, 145 kilometers for the PL-15E, makes it a formidable weapon. Compared to the US AIM-120D, it's competitive, though it falls short of the Meteor's 200-kilometer range. The PL-15's folding fin variant fits inside stealth jets like the J-20, showing China's focus on versatility. But the recovered missile's failure to detonate hints at issues, maybe in the warhead or self-destruct system, that could undermine its battlefield reliability. The PL-15's debut isn't just about one missile, it's about China's growing influence. Pakistan, heavily reliant on Chinese weapons, is a key partner, and this conflict was a live test for China's tech. A strong performance could boost China's arms sales to regions like Africa and the Middle East, challenging Western dominance. But if reliability issues persist, skepticism about Chinese hardware could grow. The recovered PL-15E parts are a wild card. India could share them with allies like the US, leading to new countermeasures. Then there's Taiwan. China uses similar systems in exercises near the island, and a proven PL-15 could embolden its military strategy. This conflict also exposed the risks of escalation in South Asia, where nuclear capabilities loom large. The clash was a proxy battle between Chinese and Western tech, with the PL-15 facing off against the Rafale's Meteor. The combat debut of China's PL-15 missile has left the world on edge. Was it a breakthrough for Chinese technology or a sign of work still needed? The recovered debris, conflicting claims, and global implications make this a story far from over. This conflict has shown us the power and risks of modern warfare in a tense region. What's your take? Did the PL-15 live up to its promise or fall short? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like button if you found this deep dive insightful and subscribe to Infographic Vision for more breakdowns of the world's biggest stories. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. We've got plenty more coming your way. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed.